This is another edition of Common Sense with Freddie with Coach Wilfred Asuko. How are you guys doing? I'm excited to be here. So today I'm going to be talking to you about packaging yourself and your resume. Okay? Um, before I start, if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, my name is Coach Wilfred Asuko. I am a capacity builder. I discuss opportunities that can help you up to speed, help you make informed decisions, as well as, you know, helping you to make your six figures in the corporate space. And most importantly, I also run a virtual coaching platform where I coach young people, young youths who are willing to make informed decisions to help them improve their productivity. Yes, so today I am going to be talking to you about packaging yourself and your resume. These two things are very important. So as a coach, I have seen several people who relocated to you know, the diaspora, like the UK, Canada, Europe, and lots of, you know, awesome countries. And when I first see their resume, their resume is not meeting up with the current trend. It can't work. You need a touch. You need a magic touch on that resume. Sometimes you go online to get templates. Not all templates can work for every industry. But there are certain templates that can work across the entire industry. And the sad part about it is where we are coming from, there are certain things we put on our resume that are not necessary, like date of birth. Yes, you put your parents, your religion, your political beliefs. Who care about those? We don't care about those. Okay, so there is a need for you to understand all the expectations that you need to see on your resume to help you secure that good six-figure job. Some of you are not gaining traction or you're not being called for interviews because your resume is not speaking the language it's supposed to be speaking. You are not gaining traction because your resume is appalling. It's not gaining traction because it's not well packaged. By that word, if you know you know what I mean. That resume needs to be packaged properly. Some of you, your resume is six pages. For God's sake, are you a professor? Your resume is not supposed to be more than two pages because the recruiter or the hiring managers, they don't have time to read your resume. They are reviewing so many resumes. You need to have yours to stand out. There is something called application tracking system that is being used to sort the resume out. If your resume is not having the keywords in them, it's not going to gain traction. So how is your resume looking today as you are listening to this video? Perhaps that is why you're not gaining traction. That's why they're not calling you for the interviews. These are some of the stuff that we do. We hold you by hand at Zit Worldwide to show you how things are done to show you how your resume can be improved upon. We show you how to tailor your resume to helping you attain job interviews. You use one resume to apply to all several jobs, but that resume will have to be tailored to suit each job that you're applying to. Are you ready to make that next step? Are you ready to make that next move? This video is for you. All you need to do is to check the link below this video and then you can reach out to us at zitworldwide, www.zitworldwide.com and we will help you up to speed. We will show you how to do it. And sometimes you might just have to take some few certification to boost your resume. Sometimes you might need to take some special skill set to add to your resume. These are some few things you need, may need to do and somebody just have to point you to them. Are you ready for that change? That's why we are here. Once again, I hope this common sense is not common because if you take it very seriously, that your next six figure might just be the one you were waiting for. We are here to hear from you. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.